of the LAPC preliminary events. Today, the $10,000 buy-in horse tournament started, and we caught up with Michael Demichelli, who placed second in the 50K horse event at the World Series of Poker to give us a crash course in all the horse games. Well, I think in women's multi, you know, it's important to, to uh, be careful about playing too many hands uh, from early positions. Huh? And, you know, obviously big cards are better than the smaller I I, cards. I and, um, you know, after the flop, if you have over cards to the board, you know, you, you should be peeling and trying to, you know, catch up. You know, sometimes you just have to put some money in when, when you don't even have anything in limited. You can't just always be folding early. if you don't have a pair. So, you know, you got you to gotta make some loose chases sometimes. Um, you know, I, I would say that that's, you know, a pretty good tip. And then, uh, you know, you, you defend your blinds a lot in limit holding. Yeah, that's one of the games you probably defend your blinds a lot more than, than in no limit, for instance. And no limit, you'd be tighter in the blinds. Um, when, when, when you play an Omaha eight or better, and a player opens some early position, you know they usually have like an ace two or an ace three type of hand. And so, so when you when you call in later position, you can play you can play a, a wider range of cards than than what they have because um, you know obviously you have a positional advantage. But after the flop, you know since you know that they probably have ace two or ace three in their in their hands, um, you know they probably have like two other random cards. So you have a really good idea of knowing when you can get to showdown. You know when it's time to muck your muck your hand. Because um, you know when when the board comes out, you know you just have to have a pretty good idea of, of knowing how your hand stands against uh, two random cards and like an ace deuce or an ace three combination. So you usually know if if they have half the pot locked up, you know, for low, or whether or not they have much going on for high. Well, in Raz, you know, a lot of times you just have to kind of barrel through and, and just kind of represent the hand that you have. You know, whether or not you paired, you kind of just gotta you kind of just gotta shoot some more bets out there. Especially if it's going to be a situation where if your board is better than your opponent's, and because you actually don't have much going on in the hole, like you paired or you you're in there with some king high or you know some crap that you that you wish you weren't involved with. You know, you kind of just have to keep representing because rather than check and and you know have the other guy bet. You're giving up so much information about your hand, it's better to just bet. And you know that you're not going to get raised anyway because your board is better than theirs. So you kind of just have to force your way through sometimes and just represent the hand that you got. Um, well, on seven card stud, you know, you should be you should be opening up a lot of high cards, you know. Um, when you have lower cards behind you and you got like a jack, you know, a lot of times you just gotta, you gotta represent it. And um, when you catch better cards, um, you know, on 4th and 5th Street than your opponent, you know, usually just, you keep firing and, uh, you know, you gotta hope to take it down. And if, uh, if you were just representing a hand on 3rd Street, like, you know, uh, you, you didn't have much and, and they called you with a 6 or something, and uh, you catch a bad card on 4th Street, a lot of times it's just time to give up and just check fold, you know, just pitch it in the muck and move on. Seven Cards Study Better is such a fun game because you just you just talk, as soon as you have low cards you just you play the pot like all the way to the river. So it's kind of there's, there's not much to study it better except just you know trying to get to showdown when you have a lot of low cards. And you know obviously when um when when your start when your board starts to get a lot worse than your opponents and like you know they have one or two more low cards than you then then you have to start to know when when it's time to get rid of your hand. But and most of the time in study it better you just you just try to get to showdown. That's, that's basically how it works. Thanks, Michael, for that quick tutorial on horse games. There are about 100 players in the tournament right now, and the registration is still open, so stay tuned in for more updates on this event. I'm Christiane at 4, Card Player TV.